Hey everybody, Chris here, and in this video, I'll be discussing how to use Mighty Networks. Mighty Networks is a platform that allows individuals and groups to create their own communities, perfect for connecting with like-minded individuals or building a network around a shared interest. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the basics of Mighty Networks, providing a comprehensive overview, and I'll show you how to create your own account, navigate the dashboard, and utilize key features such as creating posts, articles and going live. Additionally, I'll just I'll demonstrate how to invite members and create a space within Mighty Networks. So by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to use Mighty Networks and be ready to build your own community or join one that aligns with your interests. So let's get started. So first, let me give you an overview of what Mighty Networks is all about. Mighty Networks is a platform designed to build communities, courses and memberships all in one place. It's a community centric platform that allows creators, entrepreneurs and brands to connect with their audience in a more meaningful and engaging way. At its core, Muddy Networks is a community, really. It offers a variety of features such as courses, chat, membership, spaces, events, and even live streaming. The platform is designed to be flexible, allowing the host or the community creator to build a unique world and culture for their members. One of the key aspects that sets Mighty Networks apart is in its focus on member engagement. The platform is designed to foster relationships and connections among members and to facilitate the sharing of content. This focus on engagement is what makes Mighty Networks a powerful tool for building vibrant, active communities. Mighty Networks is trusted by over 900,000 creators, entrepreneurs, and brands. It's used for a variety of purposes, from professional development to personal growth, health and wellness, and even nonprofit work. By the way, if you're interested in joining Mighty Networks, use my special link down below in the video. When you sign up with that link, I'll send you my top-notch high-quality templates for free, like the Finance Hub, where you can track all of your finances. This thing's worth over $500, but you'll get that for free as a thank you for using my link because it's an affiliate link. When you use it, I do get a small commission at no cost to you, so thank you so much for using that. With that in mind, let's get started. So once you're on the home page, click on the Start Free Trial button. This will open a new tab where you have a different option to sign up. You can choose to sign up with your Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Apple ID. Pick the one that works best for you. Once you signed up, it's time to personalize your account. This step helps you get set up and get ready to go. After personalizing your account, you'll be taken straight to your account dashboard, where you can start exploring and using all of the features that Mighty Networks has to offer. Now, let's take a closer look at the dashboard, which serves as the central hub for your Mighty Network activities. The dashboard is designed to provide easy access to the main features of Mighty Networks, making it simple to navigate and use the platform. On the left side of the dashboard, you'll notice a menu with various options. These options represent the primary features of Mighty Networks, and each one plays a vital role in enhancing your experience within the network. Starting from the top, the first option is Create. This feature allows you to initiate new posts or content within the network, giving you the freedom to share your thoughts, ideas, and updates with others. Next, you'll see From the Mighty Team. This section provides access to updates or communications from the Mighty Networks team, keeping you informed about new developments, announcements, and important messages. The Members section is where you can view and connect with other members of the network. When you hover over the section, you'll see the members of your team appear beneath it, and you'll even see if they're online at that moment. The Feed section is where you can check out the latest posts and activity updates in your network feed. This keeps you up to date on what's happening within the network, allowing you to stay engaged and connected with others. The Discovery section is perfect for exploring new content, groups, or network members. This feature helps you find and connect with like-minded individuals, expanding your network and opportunities. The Events section is where you can find and participate in upcoming events scheduled within the network. This feature allows you to never miss an important meeting, webinar, or discussion. Next up, the General section provides general information and resources to help you navigate the network. The Home option allows you to return to the main dashboard page at any time, serving as a convenient starting point for navigating the platform. On the Home page, you'll see the Feeds and Members sections, providing an overview of the latest updates and connections within your network. Additionally, you can take quick action by clicking the plus create button, which offers various options to create content, engage with others, or invite new members. These options include creating a post, going live, writing an article, asking questions or polls, and more. In the create a space section, you can create a new space. Creating a space within the network allows you to set up your own dedicated area for specific topics or groups. This feature enables you to organize and focus on particular interests or projects, making it easier to connect with like-minded individuals and share relevant content. 
Additionally, the create a collection option helps you create a collection of content related to a specific topic or theme, making it easier for others to find and access this information. Beyond the left menu, the top right side of the dashboard offers additional options to enhance your experience with the network. A search bar allows you to quickly find specific content or members within the network, making it easy to locate what you need. The Get Started button serves as a guide for new users, helping them begin exploring and using the platform. You can also invite new members to the network via a link or email, expanding your connections and community. The Chat option enables you to communicate with other members of the network. You can easily start a direct conversation with other members or join existing group chats. The feature allows you to stay connected and have meaningful discussions with others within the network. The Notifications section keeps you updated on any new activity related to your profile or network. This ensures that you never miss an important message or update from fellow members. Lastly, the Profile section provides access to your profile settings where you can manage your personal information, privacy settings, notifications, and more. You can even switch between dark and light mode here. You're now familiar with the main features of Mighty Networks, so let's take the next step and learn how to create a post. First, look for the Home tab in the left menu and click on it. Once you're on the home page, you'll notice a plus create button on the top right side. This is your tool for creating a new post. When you click on this plus create button, a drop down menu will appear. This menu gives you several options like going live, making a quick post, writing an article, asking a question or creating a poll and sending an invite. For now, let's concentrate on the quick post option. Clicking on quick post will open a sidebar on the right side of your screen. This is where you can start writing your post. There's a home button below your name. You can use this button to return to the home page at any point while you're using Mighty Networks. Now let's focus on the content box. In the center of the right sidebar, there's a text box with the placeholder text, share your thoughts. To start typing your post, all you need to do is click inside this box. You can add media as well. Below the text box, you'll find options to add an image or a GIF to your post. To upload an image, click on the gallery icon. If you wanna insert a GIF, click on the GIF label and search for the one that you like. You can also enhance your post by adding hashtags or emojis. This can make your post more engaging and easier to find. Once you're satisfied with your post, click on the post button at the top right corner to share it with the network. If you want to schedule a post for later, click on the drop down menu next to the post option and then click on the schedule post that appears. And remember, if you change your mind and want to cancel the post, you can click cancel to discard the post. This gives you the flexibility to review and change your post before sharing it with the network. Now, let me show you how you can write articles in Mighty Network. Writing an article in Mighty Networks is similar to creating a post. However, the process involves a few extra steps. So first, click on the Home tab located in the left menu. Once you're on the home page, look for the plus Create button and click on it. A drop down menu will appear once you click on the plus Create button. From this menu, select the Article option. This action will open up a sidebar on the right side of your screen. And this is where you'll start creating your article. At the top right of the sidebar, you'll find a box designated for the title of your article. Click inside this box and type in the title that best fits your article. Moving on, below the title box, there's a larger text box. This is where you can pour in the content of your article. You can type in the text directly or copy and paste it from an external source. To make your article more visible and easier to find, you can add hashtags. You'll find the hashtag add hashtag button or pound sign or whatever you guys call it now, which you can click to add relevant hashtags to your article. This feature helps categorize your article and make it more discoverable to other members of the network. Once you finish writing your article, click the post button at the top right corner to share it with others. This will publish your article in the network for everyone to see. If you're not ready to publish it yet, that's fine. You can schedule your article for a later time. To do this, click the drop down menu next to the post button and select schedule post. This way your article will be published at the time that you choose. If you change your mind and don't want to publish the article, you can save it as a draft. To do this, click the save draft option in the drop down menu. This way you can come back to your article later and finish it when you're ready. If you decide you don't want to write the article at all, you can cancel it at any time by clicking the cancel button. This will delete your article, so make sure you're certain before you click it. Now let's explore how to invite members to your Mighty Network team. To get started, click the invite button at the top right corner of your dashboard. From there, you have two options to invite members via link or email. To invite via link, simply copy the link and share it with potential members. This is a quick and easy way to invite people to your network. To invite members via email, click on the See More Invite options and enter the email addresses of the members you want to invite. You can invite up to 100 email addresses at any time, making it easy to invite a large group of people at once. Additionally, you can also import contacts and upload a CSV file from this section, making it easy to invite a large number of people with just a few clicks. 
Mighty Networks has another great feature that lets you connect with your network members in real time. You can go live and interact with them directly. To start doing this, start by clicking on the Home tab in the left menu, and then click the plus Create button. From this drop-down menu, select Go Live, and this will open up a new page where you can start your live session. To get started, you'll need to have access to your microphone given and camera. Once you do this, they will start functioning and you'll be ready to go live. On the right side of the screen, you'll see several options to help you customize your live stream. Let's go through each of them to understand what they do. First, you can enter a title for your live stream in the Name Your Live Stream field. This helps your audience know what your live stream is about. Next, you'll need to give the browser permission to access your camera and microphone. This is necessary for your live stream to work properly. You can do this by clicking on the Camera Settings and Microphone Settings option. You'll need to also grant permission to your speakers and test them to ensure they're working correctly. This is done through the Speaker Settings option. If you want to record your live stream, you can toggle the Record This Live Stream option. This way, you can save your live stream for later use. Additionally, you can notify your members that you're going live by toggling on the Notify Members You Are Going Live option. Finally, once everything is set up and ready to go, you can click the Go Live Now button to start your live stream. This is the final step that begins your live broadcast. Going live on Mighty Networks is a great way to engage with your network members and have real-time conversations. It's also a useful tool for hosting events, conducting interviews, and sharing valuable information with your community. Now, let's explore how to create a space on Mighty Networks. To get started, click on the Create a Space option in the left menu. This will open up the right sidebar with various options. In this sidebar, you'll need to choose the type of space that you want to create. Mighty Networks offers different types of spaces, such as chats, feed, cohort course, content-only course, and more. Each type of space serves a specific purpose, so choose the one that best fits your needs. For this demo, let's click on the event option. This opens up the event page where you'll need to provide some essential information to set up your event. First, enter a descriptive and catchy name for your event in the space name field. This will draw the attention to your event and give your audience an idea of what it's about. If you'd like, you can also add a brief description or slogan in the space tagline field. This is optional, but it can provide additional context and make the event more appealing. Next, select the appropriate collection from the drop-down menu. Collections are like categories to help organize your events within the network, making it easier for people to find them. Choose the privacy setting for your event that you like, which typically includes options like public, private, and secret. If you choose secret, only invited individuals will be able to see and access your event. If your event requires payment, you can set up a payment plan. This feature allows you to monetize your event and control access through payment and screening processes. Finally, once you've filled in all the details and are ready to proceed, click the Create Space button to finalize and publish your event. This will make your event live and accessible to your audience. Creating spaces in Mighty Networks is an effective way to organize and host various types of events, such as webinars, workshops, conferences, and more. It's a valuable tool for engaging with your network members and providing them with valuable content and experiences. With these instructions, you can easily create spaces in Mighty Networks and make the most out of this feature. All right, that's it for this tutorial on how to use Mighty Networks to get started. Simply click on the link in the description below. You'll receive all of my bonuses for free. I hope you found this video useful and you'll learn something new. And if you found this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please do not hesitate to comment below. I always try to do my best to respond to all comments and provide helpful answers. Thank you for watching and take care.